Hello everyone and welcome back to more Stephen Amount Play Tulip. On the last episode, we broke in to the fact- well, we didn't break in, really. It does it count as breaking in? I don't think it counts as breaking in. We- We just kind of stayed longer than we were supposed to. That's not breaking and entering, that's... I mean, it's not- it's not okay to do, but... Uh, <laughs> anyway, today, Mao is taking over from where I left off. There are residents here to kiss, underground residents, but she said we're not gonna kiss them? Yeah, let's get the boss pass thing and we'll deal with that. And then we'll just come back later in the future to mm -hmm. to kiss the underground residents. So, um, in order to get the safe open, you have to visit certain places in a certain order for some reason. Like, which is unknown to me. Uh, and you have to do it before morning because then the people come back and then you're in trouble. So that's all you had to do. Now I gotta go to 444. 444. Yeah, three fours. Okay, so so you don't have to do anything special in these places. No. You don't have to activate anything. No. You don't have to do any. You just have to visit them. Correct. So, I mean, you don't have to answer this, I suppose, because we're gonna get to see in just a few minutes what happens. But like, what happens? It takes us to the safe. This is the code to unlock so, the safe. Oh, so like on the fourth location, you just arrive at the safe. Correct. Oh, because you visited things in a certain order. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a weird security system. So you're here at 444, you came, you run around, you're like, hey, everybody, I'm here at 444, and then I'm, uh, bye. <laughs> and what was the last one? 654 or 564? Or? 564. 564. Oh, that's why the guy, the guy told us earlier when we were talking to one of the workers, he said that 564 was the place. Yes. But it's not just 564, you have to go in a certain order. Uh-huh. Or it w So 564 takes you to the safe, but it only opens if you visit it in a certain order. That's my assumption. Okay. And it popped open, and there- what the heck is that? It's like a health kit. Okay, so, um, you made it. You How do I get up? Mouth, the thing in front of it, Mouth. Oh, that thing. <gasps> I mean, I'm not- I haven't played it, but it seems likely. All right, so now you run up there and you grab ba -ba 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 -ba. boss card. Now I'm the boss. Chu has become the president of the company. I wasn't lying when you sneak in and you steal it. So just because you have the card, you're the president. Correct. That's all that means. Uh huh. That's rem that's amazing. So now that you're the boss, what what do you do? Well, what did we need to do with the card? You have to go talk to Mister. God, I don't know his name now, because they're all funky Japanese names. What? You are president of the Funny Bone Factory? Wow, I'm surprised. I, I didn't think you would get a promotion. Okay, as I promised, let's celebrate. I'll give you the love paper to congratulate you. Congrats. You got the love paper. Congratulations, Mr. President. So you already got the ink, now you got the paper, and we're just trying to get the pen from Miss Iwata. Uh-huh. And then we have all the stuff. Yes! So the boss card allows us to do what, besides get the paper? Well, I need to fire Batanyan. You have to fire him? Yeah, he hates his job. It's like killing his soul. So I have to fire him, I gotta fire someone else, and I gotta go back through the factory to get all the resident kisses. But in the meantime, I mean, we could go back to town and deal with Mr. Suzuki and give him the uh, love paper. Oh, okay. But after that, that kind of wraps up our chapter, so that's our good time to kiss, um, set three people that I've made a list of that are good to kiss right now. Okay, and those are the people in Scarecrow Field. Correct. So no, the they're the people here in Funny oh, Bone City. Oh, they're the people- Oh, okay. They're set four. Oh, dear God, there's so many people. Okay, so, what do you Should we do? go give the love paper to- To Suzuki? Suzuki, or should we just chill around here and go back through the factory and get our residence? Uh, well- Correct me if I'm wrong, but if we go back and then come back, we have to pay even more money for fare. You are correct. But the downside is that we can't save the game? Correct, because we haven't unlocked the bathroom here. But I'm assuming that it's it's safe enough? Yeah, I mean, we got these hot sweet potatoes, we got some mochi, we got some heart chocolates. Okay, well then now let me just say this. If you feel comfortable enough to go ahead and deal with the kisses now, then that makes the most sense because we save money in the long run. Sounds good. So, let's kiss some people. Don't kiss too early. You got her! Oh, thank her. gosh. You got her! Oh my Good God. job, Mal! She is hard to get. She is quick. 
she is very quick. Not to mention, like, it takes so many hearts. It's 25 hearts every time you get hit. Mm-hmm. So you have to have a lot of supplies, too. But you did it. You actually got Whew. her. And we have almost no supplies left. She opens the bathroom, though, so I can save. That's right. That's right. She does. And she should hopefully give us a lot of money. 1,200. Thank you. I don't know when the bathroom gets clean, but I can try. Mr. President, are you here to use the restroom? Yes. Okay, maybe this one time. But I'm the president. We are the president, dang it. Oh, My thank friend you. Ad Balloon cleaned the dirty restroom for me. All right? Yes. Fantastic. So now we have saved. So at least if things go awry, we don't lose any progress. And uh, what's the next goal? To get back into the factory? Back into the factory. Can we just go in because we have the boss card? I. We can try. Why don't you try? We're the boss. Beow, we beow, beow, beow. What's it going to do? Kick us out? We work here. <laughs> but we work here. I don't... I don't understand. We're the boss. We are the boss. We have the boss's card. So you have to wait until 8 a.m.? I guess so. Oh my god. Let's go read a comic. Today Chu kissed... Ad Balloon? Did he? Yes, he did. And that's why we're back. Um... We, uh, Ma we were trying to decide if Mao was going to go through the factory or not, and we decided that since she had used up all of her supplies... Trying to kiss Ad Balloon? And also, apparently, the people in the factory do, like, 20 to 30 hearts of damage. Correct. That if she got hit at all, we were kind of screwed, so we thought it would be better if we came back, slept for the night, recovered our health, and bought a bunch of new supplies. So that's what we did. So, now we have full health. Now we're gonna go back through the factory. We have a ton of supplies, and it did co it's costing us some money in travel, but it's probably safer. So now we're gonna go back to the factory and see what we can do. Okay, so um, what Mal's gonna be doing here is you have to go fire Batillon. Correct. And that's what we're gonna be jumping to, and then after that you have to hide and spend the night again. Correct. It's gonna be a long day. All right, let's jump ahead to where Batillon is. I'm employee number 9976. Ha! Mr. President! Hello, sir! You're fired. What? I'm fired? Well, that was sad. When you see him next, he'll realize how happy he was. Ah, uh, found a hole! Now, what's interesting, and this is something that Mal pointed out, the first time we came here, these numbers were different. The numbers have actually changed, and that is a little concerning. So we've actually been writing down the numbers for the time that we're here right now, because it seems likely that things may, may be changing. There's just crates in here. Boxes. Funny Bone Factory. Box Man's Life. Age 30. Hobby Movies. The saying of the day is... Okay then. Let's talk about the wonders of the universe. Our existence itself is marvelous. Thanks, so Boxman. So basically, Boxman is Neil deGrasse Tyson. Got it. Let's check this hole as well. And uh, what we're going to be doing is... Uh, I think I don't know if you already wrote it down, but you need to write down this I number. Did. Okay. This is 795. Okay. Oh, I think they all go in order. 794, mm -hmm. 795, 796. What am I looking at? <laughs> They're little, like, marching soldiers or Robot something? Robot King. Funny Bone Factory, Robot King's Life. Age 70. Hobby, reading books. The saying of the day is... What a fine night. Beautiful stars and a nice breeze. The best time to take a walk. <laughs> it's basically revealing that he's going to be leaving at night. Are there other holes here or no? No, just the two. Okay. So now we are over at 796, and Mao is going to take a look at the underground residents here also. We've seen Boxman and Robot King, right? Correct. How many uh, residents are there total in, in here? Um, quite a few. We have like four, and then a few others that we need to get that aren't underground. Good God. Funny Bone Factory. Mecha Yodzilla's life. 
You remember Yadzilla from before I in the park? I do. Age 43, his hobby is ice skating. The saying of the day is, You have a problem with my artificial body? No, no, I, no, I, I don't discriminate based on what percentage of you is robot. Totally cool with that. Now, this, what is this tool? That is a... This um, is a wrecking ball, right? Wrecking ball. And the bulldozer is the one in the other location with the big pusher on the front, right? Correct. Okay, that's who I need to fire then. So why do you have to fire bulldozer guy? Um, because that's a kiss. So not wrecking ball guy. But bulldozer guy. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. All right, so we just made it into area 797. Time to check another hole. Let's find out who is here. Boxman, Robot King. I believe this is Jigsaw. Mecha Yodzilla, and now you think Jigsaw. As we lower slowly into their place of residence. Yep, Jigsaw. I would say that Jigsaw is a good name for this guy. Now, there's some, um... Debate on whether looking in his hole or not helps or hurts. Really? There's a very low chance you can get his kiss correct. Um, mm. Puzzle pieces pop out, and if the wrong one, like, there's not even a good chance of the right one even being a possibility. Uh, okay. Jigsaw's life. Age seven. Hobby handcraft. The saying of the day is, I lost my peace. I'm searching for myself. I have so many puzzle pieces, but... I can't find the most important piece, me. So deep. That one is too big. This one is too small. I'm looking for myself. God, that, for some weird reason, that sounds similar to like dialogue that the 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 paper bag would tell you in PT, <laughs> doesn't it? Yeah. Ha, ah, Mr. President. How are you, sir? Man, you should probably get to work on firing that bulldozer guy. Yeah. Because you don't have much time here. I need to fire the supervisor first. So you have to fire this guy. Uh-huh. You're fired. What? I'm fired. Then you have to run back over and fire the guy in the bulldozer. And then hide. Yeah, you have limited time to do all of this crap. I'm employee number 827, Mr. President. How are you, sir? I guess that person got fired. You're also fired. Really? Thank you so much. Honestly, I've been thinking about quitting for some time. I'm glad that I can return to my hometown. Well, there you go. We're making so many people happy by, happy. <laughs> by Donald Trumping them. So that guy is gone, and now you're going to run over to the porta potty and hide. Over and hide. All right, make it count. Get over there. I think you have to go outside the fence. I know I do. Okay. Just trying to remember from whenever I, I did it. All right, man, you are, you're free. Goodbye, sir. Mr. President, thank you for everything. And thank you for kissing me because uh, that's my fetish. Oh, he's thrilled. All right, run. Okay, now run. Running. Because otherwise she's going to call you. You made it. Do, do, do. Remember, it's the second option. I know. Hide. I really hope this works. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think that the guard changes. I think it's always the last area. I mean, when I first played, it was the last area, too. I think it's always the last area, because there's... there's, If it wasn't always... Well, although you can hide everywhere, can't you? Yeah, there's a spot think, in there, I, each location. On, honestly, I think that's just there to throw you off. I really do. I don't think that you're going to get caught. I have a feeling that it's always the fourth area. Oh, he found me, didn't he? Yes. Oh, gosh. Oh, What? I know you were hiding in there. Come out. Well, how did... I'm the president! Yeah, you, you, you can't do that. We're the president. Oh my god, he drop-kicked you. I don't understand, because how would you have found out who was lazy? Because they don't talk to you the same way when you're the president. Maybe you have to get rid of your president card. You're, you're just gonna toss it? I know, we used it for everything we need. Oh my god. So now you have to wait until 8 a.m. I'm going to go read my comic. Well, time to do that all over again. All right, so um, we have a bit of a problem. The issue is that once you become president, it doesn't matter if you get rid of the boss card or not. Once you have become president, everyone refers to you as president, and no one talks to you about who the guard is.
Hello everyone and welcome back to more Stephen and Mal play Chulip. Last episode, Mal and I got a little freaked out. In fact, I don't even know if we actually illustrated how freaked out we were on the video. But off screen, we were terrified because we thought that maybe we had done something to the game that would prevent us from proceeding. Um, we thought we more or less broke the game and things had to be done in a certain order. Um, it's not the case. Everything is fine. Uh, basically what happened is whenever you whenever you come to the factory and you are still the manager, you're not the president, everyone says different things to you. When you become the president, everyone says the exact same thing to you. But you need someone to say the guard is lazy. We were worried that once you became the president, no one would say that. And we read online to see if there was other people that had this problem. And someone said, I've talked to everyone and they don't say it. Oh God, what do I do? So we read a few of these forum topics that people had posted. And we were like, oh crap, we're screwed. Well, it turns out those people that posted those topics way back when did not talk to everyone. And that if you do talk to everyone as the president, eventually you will find someone who will tell you that the guard is lazy because this is happening now. By the way, Mr. President, today's security guard is lazy. Please tell him to work harder. The only problem is, um, this is the last guy I talked to in this area. A, this area has a lot more people than other places, And I'm going to have to book it to get into the book thing. It. Any of them, Al? I was told any of the green crates by the manual. I think I made it. <laughs> okay, so we're going to slide in here and hide. I think we did it. I hope so. I think we did it. You guys really have no idea how terrified we were because, like, Tulip is hard. Tulip is, honest to God, like, one of the hardest Let's Plays we've ever had to make because there's so much off-screen time. You know, the videos we bring to you guys are, like, 20 minutes, but uh, there's been there's been many times where it's taken, like, two hours to make one episode. That's a lot of time. So if we sit down to try and record two or three, um, it can quickly turn into, like, a five-hour affair, and that's... That's bad. That's bad. Not to mention, like, the frog incident. Oh. We, st we still don't have a frog. Still don't have a frog. So hopefully we'll get one of those soon. Um, but now that we have access to uh, the place again, we're going to be um, trying to get the underground residents, correct? Correct. So who who... Is there someone in this area that we can get? There is, but we're not getting them yet. Okay, so there's, like, a certain order that we're going to try and get them in? Correct. This guy is Thing lazy. that makes the most sense. Okay, well, I'm going to follow your order, and I'm going to do it the best I can, and just, I'm going to hope for the best, because there's uh there's a, how many people are there to kiss in here? Three? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, get five? in the train. Go to the train? Yep. And you are going to 564 as soon as you can, because he pops up at eight. 564. And this is going to take us to one of the areas, who are we trying to kiss? We're trying to kiss Daniel, who's from eight to 1150. And when he, sneak around. He's gonna be up and oh, you can run. It's not eight yet. Okay, where? Where? Uh, there's his hole. Okay. He's a swimmer. I'm like pretty sure he like swims around. Okay. When do I kiss him? When he pops above the ground, not from his hole, but he's gonna swim, and then he'll pop up. Okay, he's pushing me around, which is actually kind of nice. Kiss him. <laughs> you seemed very concerned. So, I'm glad that I, I got a hold of that. Good job. Also, what is he standing on? Because he was swimming! I know, but currently, am I floating? Yeah. Or is, or is his legs in the ground? <laughs> so many questions, Chulup. So many questions. Back it. Give me money, because I need it bad. That's right. I kissed, Ooh. I kissed an underground swimmer at night in a factory because that is how I roll. All right, where are we going next? You need to go where Robot King is, which is 828. 828. Little, it was actually closer to 130. But Watch hi, out buddy. For him. Huh? Just stay Just close. Just don't let him run into you. Yeah, stay close to him. Just, Just going to kind of walk with him. He wants to go for a walk. There you oh, go. Oh, <laughs> snap. I kissed a bot and I liked it. It was at night in a factory. The taste of his plastic? The t that was good. That was very good. Thank you. Good. The taste of his plastic. Or metal. It really depends what kind of robot this is. Either way, uh, good job. 
You need to immediately run and get in the train. Uh, okay, we have limited time. Yes. Do, 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 do. Gears of War. Uh, hold on, I gotta get paid. That's a ton of money. Thank you. Go, 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 go. Dun, 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 dun. Let's sneak over to him. Okay. And then... Remember, he's not here long. So if you're gonna do it, do it. Nope. Is he gonna hurt me? Oh, God. Please don't hurt us. Please don't hurt us. Please. Please be nice. Yep, he hurt me. Oh, he does do 22. If he- if you just give him the thing. So you have another piece? I do. 